いらっしゃいませ。どれにします Hey, it's Curly, and welcome back to Vanguard. Dear Days. Thanks everyone for the positive reception on the first episode.、Uh, we didn't really get to do a lot there since most of it was the tutorial. So let's go ahead and actually do stuff today. I thought I'd start off by just going over some things for people that might not be too aware of just, I guess, Vanguard or Overdose in general.、Um, so, as I started. Last time,、uh, and I mentioned you can pick out a deck, which just gives you a whole deck here.、Uh, you can take a look at the deck here.、Um, and I thought I'd just go over really quickly like, what each deck is like. So, this deck here is the Nirvana deck, and it's the Dragon Empire deck, and it focuses on the Overdress mechanic, which is basically using this guy, Trickstar, and then、uh, slapping on a Vorina, which is this guy, on top of it and getting special effects, and then your Vanguard powers up. Your units and itself,、uh, and according to how, like, how many overdress units you have and stuff like that. Then we've got Bruce here. Bruce is sort of like the Spike Bros equivalent if you've played you know, any other versions of Vanguard or like Vanguard Zero or anything like that.、Uh, they kind of just focus on getting to Final Rush, which is just a state exclusive to Bruce, and it just kind of happens on your fourth turn. So after you ride Bruce, the next turn after that, you're on Final Rush. And then all your、uh, abilities are active and you can attack. And get extra power and skills, and then also Bruce himself restands your front row so you can get in a lot of attacks. So it's a very aggressive deck that aims to basically kill you on Final Rush. Then next up, we have here Bastion.、Um, I should also probably mention this is Dragon Empire, this is Dark States, and this is actually Keter Sanctuary. I can go into what that means some other time.、Um, the Bastion one is focused on grade 3 units exclusively. Because、um, their main unit here, Bastion, can restand grade 3s if you check a grade 3 unit. So, as many people have called, this is the Moe Power deck.、Uh, you just fill up your deck with grade 3s, check them, restand them, swing in, don't block because you don't have anything to block with.、Um, then we've got ourselves Magnolia here, which is Forster Kale. This is the, I guess, best example of a multi attacking deck from. The start decks because、uh, Magnolia has the ability that gives the back row units the ability to attack. So you can enable six attacks、um, on Persona Ride. You can choose three units in your back row and they can all attack. So you can get your entire board to attack. And this deck specifically just focuses, maybe not in this、um, starter deck as much, but it focuses on just having units in the back row, having them attack, and getting bonuses from being specifically in the back row and attacking. And then we've got ourselves here Seraph Snow, which focuses on the prison mechanic, which is this here, which allows you to basically imprison your opponent's units. So instead of locking them or retiring them or binding them, you instead put them on the order zone so your opponent doesn't have access to them. But unlike those other modes or those other mechanics, they have the ability to get those cards out. So your opponent has to sort of struggle managing their resources in order to get. Their cards out of prison, so not only get their cards back, but not let you have cards so that you don't, or so the prison player, I should say, doesn't power up.、Uh, Kairi is the local Monastero deck. She focuses on not much. <laughs> to be honest, the starter deck isn't really too great. But it mainly focuses on like、uh, calling cards back to hand and then calling them back out to try and get multi attack that way. So, pretty basic Bermuda stuff. And then the last deck we have here, I keep pressing the, deck, the button to buy it. It's Bob Sagra, which is the other deck that I bought, which is very unique. It's also from Dragon Empire, and it focuses on equipping Bob Sagra with、um, equipment in order to buff her up.、Uh, and that's just a quick rundown of the decks.、Um, and I, I figure from time to time we'll just go over that kind of stuff.、Uh, we'll go over the packs maybe sometime later. I think now I want to get some fights. So, last time we left off, we bought a deck from Olsen, or yeah, Olsen here, after getting our butt kicked by the Overtrigger, thanks to our little bro.、Um, I don't know what this is. I think I can face off against little bro.、Um, or this is like the main story. So, this is like free fight, and then this is like the main story. Let's, I guess, do the free fight. Whoops. See what that's like. So, I have played this a bit.、Uh, I managed to get to work on my Steam deck. Sis, I just rebuilt my deck. Would you like to try it out? Sure thing. 
So I have actually played a bit and I managed to fix up my deck. Uh, I was actually able to pull three copies of the Grade 4 Kyrie, which is insane that I was able to do this so quickly. And I have basically, you know, the bare bone skeleton of like the friendship engine that's used in Kyrie, um, just because I figured that would be the easiest way to get through some of this stuff. But I wanted to play a lot of the other lyrical stuff, but I ended up getting a lot of the Kyrie stuff, or like I got some of the Kyrie stuff, like I pulled from both the lyrical packs, and then I managed to get a great for Kyrie, and I was like, alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to do that from now on. Uh, no D skill selected, uh, sure. Let's select our D skill here, which is draw trigger, so I believe that just increases my chances of hitting a draw trigger. Which is gonna suck, because I only have, like, four of them. Um, but alright. Let's get into an actual fight here. We're gonna lose, and we're gonna go second, which... For the deck I'm playing, is not the best. But that is fine. Um, this hand isn't actually horrible, but I do want a mulligan for Kyrie, and it's ironic that I only have one copy, or sorry, three copies of Kyrie, because that's exactly how it is in real life. <laughs> I only own three copies of her, and I don't want to buy, um, another copy for, like, 40 20 dollars. Um, so I managed to make do with that, but, um, let's, uh, just mulligan hard for one of those copies, um, yeah, let's do that. And we're not gonna get it, unfortunately. Uh, he's actually playing Wola here, interesting, okay. So he needs a skill to get a token, in the back row weird art circle. Alright. I was having a lot of trouble, because I was fighting against, um, I, I didn't progress the story, but you can fight in like free fights, like outside of the story, which is funny that there's two types of free fights. Uh, I was fighting against Yuki, who has like her own deck. She has like her own Vanguard, but her let's draw first. Her deck in the game, at least in the free fight that I was doing, used the like Blaster Blade ride line, so she would always retire whatever it is that I would call out here from. Um, I guess let's put it here. From my start, my no, I started my grade one skill. Uh, we don't really have anything else we can play here, so let's go ahead and just swing in. See if we can get an easy crit, maybe. No, but we got the grade four Kyrie already, so we're good to go. Do more damage here. Aurora can be pretty aggressive. I don't know why you're playing that guy, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Aurora can be pretty aggressive, especially on turn two, um, if you get the right cards. Why are you? playing this. Uh, you can't move it. Interesting. Alright. Um, uh, yeah, I think we'll take that. No guard. I wish you said no guard a little bit more confidently. <laughs> Still playing some copies of the Grade 1 Kairi, or Bastasis in our deck here. Um, that is gonna be a guard for me, fam. There we go. I know a lot of people have, like, complained about how the Confirm system works, because in order to do anything, you have to, like, press the A button, and let's say I want to discard something for Ride, I would have to press the button and then confirm it with the X key, or X button, I should say. I don't find that to be that bad, to be honest, uh, especially me, because I tend to go through things super quickly and just blah 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 blah, right? Um, so being able to make sure I don't like misplay like that is nice, but yeah, that's just me. Uh, I always thought this card was a grade 1, but she's actually a grade 2. Wow. Uh, also not sure why you're playing this, but hey, you have some sort of weird Zorga or uh, whatever, I don't really care. <laughs> Buddy, you do you. Uh, I probably should have put this here so that I can get triggers for my Vanguard, but, um, I mean, I still can. Uh, but I meant, like, triggers for my other units, or use it on my other units so that I can look at it, and that way I can put the triggers on top, so that when my Vanguard swings, I can get it, but it still works now. So, boost, and her skill gives her 5k. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Oh. I wanted to... <laughs> I thought it was the other skill to get a boost. Uh, why did it disactivate? 
Oh, it has a boost of rear guard. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> no wonder. Yes, yeah, so definitely put it on the rear guard side. That makes more sense now. I was like, what? <laughs> Why does that not sound right, putting it back here? Uh, Alright. Menace to score the critical in here. Gonna do two damage here. Very nice. No trigger. Uh, so I could have actually returned and landed my hand there, but uh, it's fine. We can use it. Oh, we can return it to our hand next turn. Alright. And we got ourselves this grade 3 that I really like. Because our artist looks brilliant, she has a really cool effect. She's a grade 3 that can actually um, guard. Um, you haven't seen any triggers yet, so we'll take this attack. Yeah, she gets like 10k shield. Even though she's a grade 3. Ah, I should have guarded that. It's fine. I can take the next. Or I can guard the next hit. I don't have Melty, so I don't really need Counter Blast. Alright, so now you hit when I lose. One of our main attackers here, which is a little bit unfortunate, in the uh, Pauline. Um, let's go ahead and guard that. I don't have to worry. I usually hate guarding um, with heal triggers and using heal triggers or discarding because there's a great number of opponent melts. I don't have. I like I have one less heal, but it's fine. Um, I could have just rode Kyrie for my hand, to be honest. Um, but whatever, we'll, we'll discard Kyrie for Kyrie because I have to grade for Kyrie. So persona riding is somewhat useless for me. Um. Oh, I called it back to my hand. I was like, did, did the other one die? Uh, yeah, we can call this out, because we can call out two, or we can bring back two units. So you're not going to have enough power uh, to do anything, quite frankly. Um, hmm. Hmm. Alright, maybe I can try and use a trigger on you or something. Uh, let's go to battle here. Let's swing in with my grade 3 girl. What is your name again? Kalfi. It's 10k on place, but she's a 10k grade 3. But he's pretty useless after that. And uh, let's attack here. Let's uh, not boost. Here. Use Kairi's skill to soul blast out a uh, starter that I changed because I like that starter. And let's go ahead and return to Kalfi and Aline so we can actually make use of her. He's going to use his skill to retire two of his tokens to follow himself up to 23 and include another card. Make it a 2 to pass. Uh, which we're not going to be passing. Unless we check the over trigger. Nope. Not the critical trigger. Let's put all the effects here. So that's a good thing I did call her out. And they do have enough cards to guard. Presumably in hand, but uh, let's go ahead and swim in here. Sure. Get nothing. <laughs> I guess we have no friends. You no guarded that? Bro. Brave. How you have five cards in hand and you can't guard 20k? Unbelievable. <laughs> I just own you as my as my little bro. Unbelievable. Alright. We're actually going to get an okay amount of DP here. Um... You didn't even get to ride Great Four Kyrie. That was more fortunate. I lost. That you did, my little bro. That you did. Uh, oh, he's actually gone. Okay. Uh, we're actually going to get Suppressed Glimmer for, um, I was going to say Dimension Police, but for Prison. So, um, hmm. uh, I guess I have to make sure to make use of those fights because they seem to disappear. Um, but alright, let's go here to the story mode and proceed. See what happens after. Yuki gets her deck. She beats up her little bro. What's gonna unlock a new side of myself? The fuck does that mean? Vanguard, huh? Let's eat lunch together, Yuki. Hey, what's that? Uh, or nothing. Don't worry about it. Let's go. New side of myself. How could that even be possible? No, that's something I've never even considered. Stop it. Why, am I, why is this kid always getting picked on? Give me back my card. What's the problem, kid? I get your card if I win. That was the deal, right? Hey, what are you doing? 
You from yesterday. This is Masasudo Masaru Masaru Kita Masaru Kita, an unruly short-tempered teenager who will snap at anyone and everyone. Uh, he is currently affiliated, unaffiliated with any team, but is people who belong to a legendary team. And I got Doshi Nakano, quite an intelligent person. He has devoted his efforts to card collecting, as he believes cards to be the determining factor of a player's strength. Help me, sis. Sis. Get away from Rasen. Boy. Don't get the wrong idea here. It's not like we're just stealing it. We had an agreement. Once the fight was over, we trade cards. As a way to remember the events. I can back him up on that. Is that true, Rasen? Uh, yeah, but is that really fair? I mean, you fucking agreed to it, so it has to be fair. Source a dragon deity of blessings, bless favor? For iron anchor resentment dragon? Yeah, that's not a fair trade, but... Ugh, you need to learn when to give up. Please, Yuki, help me! Please! Yuki? This is a request from your mother to daughter. Please help your stupid ass little bro in his card fights. I admit that you two may be telling the truth. Then stay out of our business. But still, this isn't like what you're doing to him right now. Do you really think you can call out an agreement? I'll take you on instead. Give me the card back if I win. And if I win? I'll give you all the cards I have with me. No, bro. No, what? Hey, yo, wait, yo. No, no. <laughs> Excuse me? I worked hard for all three grade four Kairis. Don't, don't be putting, don't be anting up that shit just because your little brother is losing his overtrigger. All right, he can go play Obaria. He'll be aight. He does not need bus favor right now. He'd be good. It, it, shit got reprinted. Next set, when a DLC comes out, he'd be good. Un unbelievable. Seriously, that's awfully generous of you. In other words, I came out ahead either way. Fine, I'll fight you. I am Doshi Nakano. Let's do it. Don't worry. No clues intended. <laughs> I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna hear that so much, I'm probably gonna start saying that at like events and locals and stuff. Alright. So this is about as far as I got in the demo, because then I got up to here and then I couldn't see the screen because I had skipped the tutorial. And I was like, well, shit. Alright, bro, can you let me choose paper? I'm like, damn. Let's go ahead and go first here, which is good for us. Um, because you want to write a grade for as quick as, as possible. Let's keep this in case. Well, it's more than everything else. Nope, we instead got our over trigger. Yikesosaurus Rex. Um, yes. And now let's do lean, but this time place her correctly. <laughs> your skill. Call this here. There we go. Now we're learning. Now we're playing with power. Okay, we got ourselves Bart here. We got ourselves Eugene. Oh no. That's not good. Eugene can retire myself, can't he? <laughs> Alright, we can't do it right now. Gonna get a big number. Uh, it's gonna go up to 18. <sighs> I could guard that. But it probably doesn't seem worth it. Alright, I guess I could have guarded it, but it's fine. D skills and accurate. Give us a draw trigger. There we go. And we get the power here, which is fine. Give us some Pauline, which is. Decent. <laughs> I like how the values switch um, depending on like what mode you're in. So if you're guarding, it shows you their guard value, but if you're like on the offense, it shows their offense, which is kind of interesting. I have a lot of shield value, to be honest here, so I guess I can discard the uh, draw trigger or the heal trigger here. Let's call out Pauline. And let's go to battle. Let's use Pauline boosted by Lee here. And then finally, use a lean skill for real this time. Um, interesting. Um, okay. Um, we can leave that on top. 
Assuming he doesn't check a trigger here. All right, perfect. So now we can go ahead and swing in. Use our skill here to bounce back, I guess, Pauline. We don't have to bounce anything back, but... We can keep her safe and add a PG to her hand here. I probably should have brought back Eileen since he can probably retire in grade 2, huh? Uh, I've played Eugene once, and <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I've never played Eugene any other time. Or against Eugene any other time. Um, if I have two or less regards, it just gets power. Okay. This is making up to you. Uh, what now? Oh my god, more power! Jesus, is this is this what Eugene does? He just gets fucking huge Vanguard swings? Oh, uh, yeah, alright, you got it, bro, no pass. Or, no guard, I should say. Take one damage here, since you didn't get a trigger and you're playing... Uh, 9k, for some reason? Uh, oh, when it intercepts, it's 10k shield, alright, I'll try to run that out. Um, so I need this to try and draw cards. Um, again, we do have a lot of good shield value. So I guess I can pitch the other heal trigger. I kind of need everything else. Let's ride my avatar, Kairi. Um, Alright, so let's call out um, Caitlyn here. We're going to counterblast one. Actually, can I go back and kind of blast this one? Yeah. And we're gonna discard this and this here. And just trying to draw Kyrie, but we didn't get it. Unfortunate. Um, alright. So that's fine. We can call out Caitlyn here. Or Kabiga, whatever the heck your name is. She gets plus 10. And let's call out Pauline over here. Um, and I guess I can return Caitlyn and Pauline. I'm not too sure. Uh, I want to return, or this is Caitlyn, this is Kabata. Uh, I can return this, try and use it next turn, but I don't really have a lot of cards that I want to discard. So we'll see. Um, either way, let's go to battle here. Uh, let's do this attack first. Nice fat 23, I believe. Yep. Let's use the ladies' skill here, see if we can put Great 3 Kyrie on top of the deck. Put that to the bottom. We're not double those draw cards, true. God. Alright. We are going to guard that attack. Um I guess let's attack here as well. No Pauline, get a no guard and take the hint. <laughs> Damage check. And not get any triggers, they're still playing Electro Dragon. Bro, I thought you were good at this game. What is, what is happening? Uh, let's go ahead and attack Kyrie, use her skill, we'll soul blast down with the starter. And, um, I know for a fact I want this back. Um, I don't know if I want Pauline back, but let's do Caitlyn. Just need to use her next turn. Alright, we got another PG, which is fine. Uh, we got a great 3 Kyrie. Alright, so at least there's that. I do like the cuttings when we're like your Vanguard attacks for the first time, that's pretty cool. Or your Grade 3 Vanguard, I should say. Still no trigger. Bro, do you even... Are there any triggers in this deck of yours? <laughs> um, I think you just drew into everything. There it is. Eugene. I feel mildly insulted for Eugene players because they threw the, <laughs> this horrible Eugene deck together as the first fight. Um, but, oh well. So we did lose Eileen, which I guess is fine. Um, let's throw this out there. Uh, so that's OT to pass. Even though I probably could have guarded away less, because you don't fucking want to <laughs> check any triggers. So why even bother? Um, but hopefully, the card I draw is not that, alright. Let's go ahead and ride. Kyrie as a Persona Ride. And draw not exactly what I needed. Um, let's see. So we can call this out. 
Um, use Caitlyn again. Let's use Caitlyn again. Let's use her skill. Kind of last one. Um, I don't feel like I need another Paul. Well, I kind of need Paul. Um, let's I guess get rid of the two of you. Um, I can attack with Paul here. But let's get rid of Paul. Then this card two draw two. There we go. Okay, we got Kyrie. Perfect. Um. Now, I can go ahead and put this here. She gets power. And I can return them both. And then I can play Pauline in this spot and boost with this. So, okay. Let's go to battle here. So I'm going to Pauline. Guard. There are your triggers. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and attack. Uh, no boost. Attack with Kabada here. Winning time. Smack him with the hearts and stars. Alright, another luck bell dragon. God forbid you were to check anything offensively. Or defensively, I should say. Or offensively, but not at all. So we're gonna attack in here with Kyrie and use her skill. We're gonna soul blast out. It'll be grade one. And then we're gonna return you and you. Oops. Back to my hand. I'm gonna check PG again. Wow, I this man had no chance in hell <laughs> with all the PGs I had. Let's end this. Sing, sing on his ass, Kari. There we go, and that's the game. That was uh, surprisingly easy. Actually, getting a lot of EP for that. Very nice. Now give back the card. Fine, I'll keep my promise. Wow, you're amazing, sis. You won your first ever fight. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rub that shit in. Well, sis, you just started playing literally five minutes ago and you just beat this guy and your deck is like super trash because it's just a starter deck. Wow, sis, that's amazing. I had all of those amazing cards, yet you... I didn't play against that guy. I don't know whether or not your cards are strong. <laughs> what I can say is, is that Rasen was a lot stronger than you yesterday. I mean, I don't know about that, but I... I mean, <laughs> you didn't use Electro Dragon, so there was that. I was the one using Electro Dragon, so yeah. Hey, Doshi, where are you going? I'm out. Hold on. What do you mean you're out? You gotta fight again and get even with her. I've had enough. Then, what are all those cards I've given you until now for? I only ever cared about getting strong cards. Like my Electro Dragon. I never had any interest in what you were trying to do. Hey, hold on a second. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks. You're amazing at Vanguard, Yuki. What? Um, I don't know what to say. Then how am I gonna know what you mean? But we can deal with that later. There's something we have to do first. Yes. Hmm? We're gonna have to get him to apologize. Uh, what? It's only fair, isn't it? He did something wrong. He needs to make it right. I mean, he didn't really do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey, you. Apologize to Rosin for what you did to him. And while you're at it, promise you'll never try to take someone's cards again. Um, sis? I'm fine now. I got my cards back anyway. Excuse me? And, well, he seems sad in his own way. No, I wasn't wrong. This card is really important to me. I got it when I first started Vanguard. <laughs> It's a treasure I received from uh, Gosetsu-san. Gosetsu. Did you say Gosetsu? Oh, yeah. Hey, kid. When you say that, do you mean Gosetsu from Setsu Getsuka? <laughs> what? Sonna. Setsu Getsuka? Please, you gotta take me to Gosetsu-san. Please. He is like a famous card fighter or whatever. Ooh, wow. Lightning Spark. 
We also got, uh... <laughs> Toshi's deck with the Electro Dragon. All right. That's what I've always wanted to have. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have that in the starter deck, but all right. Thanks. Um, I guess let's fight this guy, because I'm not really sure how these versus things go. Uh, these free versus. Like, if I go to the next main versus, if it disappears. Let's just do yeah, it. Uh, I can't accept the outcome of our duel. Now, let's try and settle it. If he uses the same exact deck, I'll just skip it. <laughs> well, let's see if he's got anything good. Um, Rossin did have a completely different deck uh, the second time I faced them, but... Bro, stop choosing paper. <laughs> Alright, we're going second here. Let's see, um... Put that back. Put that back. I guess put that back. There we go. We've got some Kyrie. Grade 4, but we've got some triggers, but that's fine. Let's see. Nope, it looks like the same fucking deck. <laughs> there he goes. The fucking legendary Electro Dragon. I lost. Yeah, he must be just configured to just not have any triggers. Um, also, it seems like Kyrie is really good for. Uh, it seems like Kyrie is really good for getting VP because I keep doing like some of the rewards or the not rewards, but like the uh, post game. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, but like fight rewards. So like if you like superior call and do stuff like that, Kyrie does a lot of that. Um, so it's giving me a lot of VP. Uh, but all right. Let's go back to Olsen here and um, check out what this kid wants. Masaru Kitan. How many times do I have to tell you? It's Masaru Kita. I guess they know each other. I guess so. So. Where did you disappear to? We were all looking everywhere for you. Uh, sorry about that. It's a little complicated, you know? And now... Yep, as you can see, I've become a shop owner. I want to support fighters in ways that aren't fighting. After you disappeared, I thought about remaking Setsu Getsuka. What did you just say? Uh, excuse me? What's uh, Setsu Getsuka? Ah, uh, my bad. Setsu Getsuka is a legendary team formed by Getsu, uh, Gosatsu-san here. Consisted of dozens of fighters, and I was one of them. But then he disappeared all of a sudden, one day. Well, everyone on the team was so promising. It made me think that I could just up and retire and it'll work out, you know? If that was the grace, you should have told us first. Uh, and? So was Setsu... Setsu Getsuka some gang of card thieves? Yeah. What's this about card thieves? I never once had a member do something like that. Masa, don't tell me. I I'm sorry. Yuki, can you blame me for thinking that? Can you? Uh, yes. Er... Well, I couldn't get enough members in order to put up a fight. That's when Doshi said he'd manage if I just gave him some good cards and... Put up a fight? What do you mean? After kusetsu san left, everyone went their separate ways. All the team members from back then are fighting one another now. I couldn't stand the sight of that, so... Hmm. Come back, please! Won't you come back? I bet everyone else will too if you do. Hmm. That's something I just can't do, Masaru. I've retired as a fighter. Do you really want someone leading you who can't even fight? I don't care. What about the others? Can you speak for them? Uh, well... Sorry, Masaru. But I... I won't give up on my dream of forming a new Setsugatsu... Setsugetsuka. Setsugetsuka? <laughs> Even if I do it alone. What about Doshi? He's long gone. He's lost in a fight to this kid here, and 
He just really wanted to go get more copies of Elect Burl Dragon. Nani? This kid? Ah. Ha! You mean Rossin? No, the other one. Okay, so I guess he's Masaru's older than he looks? Because that makes a little bit more sense, because obviously, uh, Getsetsu is, you know, old enough to have a card shop. So he's, I'm assuming, at least 18, right? But probably older than that. Uh, but the fact that him and Masaru were on the same team was kind of weird. Because I thought Masaki was like Rasen's age, but he's presumably older than both Rasen and Yuki. Are you kidding me? Her vanguard was really strong. I can't believe it. I only gave that deck to Yuki the other day, you know? Yeah. Seriously? Well, she's not that weak of a fighter. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yuki might have actually might actually have an incredible talent for this. And no, I was just doing what had to be done to save Rasen. That's why you were strong. Uh, what? Ah. If you're in a vanguard fight in order to protect someone, you can't lose. Dora. The deck responded to you, right? Um. Hmm. Please, I'm begging you. you but what? Won't you help me form the team? Yada. No way, bro. Dada. Wow, that was fast. Oi. Then fight me! Dada. If I win, accept the deal. No way. What's the point of fighting just to prove who's better? That's what causes kids like Rasen to lose the places they can call home? What? <laughs> Yuki. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. But I just love Vanguard. And I know that everyone else did back then too. That's why. I want to make them all remember. I want to get back to those moments we all spent together. Man, that hits home. Okay, I understand. But if I win, you leave me out of it. Deal? Matt never goes back on his word. We've got a deal. Well, this seems a lot less shitty than I thought it was gonna be. Alright, well, let's see if he checks any triggers here. As opposed to Doshi. Could not for the life of him find a single trigger outside of his hand. Uh, so use your strategy here. Um, how do you work again? Uh, when friends is placed, so I have three or more friends. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any of that. But uh, Kavala doesn't really do too much. I guess I can keep the grade one here. Alright, no Kyrie. Oh no! Feral Magus? Hold me, no! Yuki, let's be on his team! He plays Barrel Magus! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, yes, right. We got a great for Kyrie, which is great. Um, let's discard lean here. Ride, use the starter the skill to draw for going seconds. Uh, use uh, Nanami, I think is your name. And bring back Lean. Let's put it over here. Yeah, you're Nanami. Okay. Let's just go to battle here. Swing in to Deep Sonica. Check. I'm gonna get a uh, Veta. Please check a trigger. Oh boy. Sprackle Splasher. Alright, my guy, we gotta talk. <laughs> I used to play this card too, so that's why we gotta talk. Deformed Hammer. Oh boy. Icicle. Uh, what is your name again? Icicle, Icicle Yi and Iser? No, don't, don't do this to yourself. Uh, no guard. No guard. What the? F what? <laughs> what, bro? That's a greed on. I mean, you can technically use it, but what? What? Don't, don't play that. Don't play that shit. <sighs> Why? <laughs> I have a hundred million power. Right. Um, we don't need you anymore, so you can go to hell. Um, let's uh, do what everyone else does to me. Uh, we don't have any counter blasts because unfortunately we took the LT, so we can't play this girl who is do. Kala. Bukaya? Uh, that's fine. Uh, no. Let's go here to battle. Let's swing in. Bushi would be lean. 
Use a mean skin. So we got. Uh, yeah, let's put that on the bottom, please. Yeah. <sighs> the disrespect from this game to throw in your first fights being a Barrow and an Ajin player, and neither of them can get any triggers or do anything. Please check a defensive, please. I'm rooting for you. I've never rooted for someone so hard in my life. Oh my god, why? What is it with you and Masuda playing these, these... They don't have an effect! I press Y and it says no data! Don't play this! <laughs> I will get you new cards, bro. I will open packs right now and I will get you cards. Like, we will open the Dark States pack together and I will help you out. Because this... I cannot let this stand. Oh my god, why are you playing four of them? <laughs> what the fuck? How many are you playing? What is this, the Barrel Maga starter deck? Yes. Build that soul, buddy. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Oh man, I specifically didn't want to use Barrel because I was like, I use Barrel all the time. Um, people are probably sick of that. Um, but I'm definitely obviously gonna build Barrow eventually, because I have to, for like ranked and stuff, because I love Barrow. But it's so cool that he has an animation for it. Oh, at least he plays Amazement Magician, alright. I'll give you that. That, alright. <laughs> per persistent Talent? No, we ain't about that, I'm sorry. The card is not very reliable. Uh, no guard. Man, I'm about to like... 1 to 6. Or I'm about to beat this man with only have one damage. Unbelievable. Can't even let them check a trigger. I, don't know. I, I shouldn't really be complaining because I've heard that like later on it gets pretty crazy and everyone just fucking sacks like hell. But, um, let's. Hmm. Let's discard Pauline for now because we're basically going to win this turn. Let's play you. Uh, let's call out you. Didn't work. Why not? <laughs> oh, it has to be. Wait. Oh, something else has to be placed. She has to go first. Okay, I thought it was when she's on place. Never mind. Well, that's fine. We don't really need more cards, anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and swing in here. What's the boost? Let's go and use, um, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Loris's skill. Let's use a Vayne's skill. Ooh. Uh, I guess we leave that on top. Guard 28. Okay, I'll give, <laughs> Loris will give Fenty Slasher a nice little kiss. Uh, let's go ahead and swing in here. And use a skill. Bump us up to 42 or 24. I don't know why I flipped that. My dyslexic brain. Uh, it was wrong also because that's 26. Check. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Stop with these cards. Uh, we'll swing in here. I guess I could use Kyrie's skill to bounce um, this thing, but I use it. Oof. Oof. Well, I mean, I already know what's coming, but thanks, D-Skill. Give it a power here. And... Uh, draw a trigger. Damn, bro. Make me beat this man's ass. Unbelievable game. Make me beat up Barrel Magus. Ah... <sighs> So what you had in hand, though, like pandemonium, brainwasher. What was going on here? <sighs> oh man. Hopefully we can like be friends with him and like fix his fucking dark. <laughs> uh, but oof! Wow, that is a lot of VP. Uh, guarded with six thousand shield. Did I guard with that much? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these like these things here is what I was talking about. Kyrie seems to do a lot of them, or it might just because it's a story mission. But I, I have a lot of them. I think I was actually misreading it. I think I got I have a total of like six thousand. I thought I got six thousand. I lost. 
fine. I give you my word. I'll go it alone. And... I'm in. Oh, yes! Thank you, Yuki. <laughs> what? For real? But what made you change your mind? I saw your, your Barrel Magus deck and like, we, we ain't about that, bro. We gotta fix that ASAP. Beat me fair and square. I'm not sure, but... It's like fighting you made me understand just how sincere you were about it. <laughs> or something like that? <laughs> you. <laughs> Ichidoji. Huh? Thanks. I do have one condition, though. Hmm? He joins with me. Me too? Yes. I'll serve as your guardian to protect you from Masaru. Mm. Er, hey, I promise I won't do it again, okay? <laughs> yeah. Practice fight or not, you beat me. <laughs> but I uh, cheated and checked the over trigger. <laughs> Rasen, you definitely have what it takes to be a fighter. <laughs> Gohan Pro could even be in the cards for you if you work on it. I promise. <laughs> it could? <laughs> um. If you have a Tetsu Sun seal of approval, that's more than enough for me. Thanks, K er, I mean. Sorry about all this, Yuki. My stubborn butt got you dragged into all of this. Don't worry about it. I'm used to this kind of thing. You are? And besides, I haven't met her yet. Uh, huh? The new side of me. Well, I bet you will. Okay, then it's decided. What is? What else? Our team's name. Well, now that you two are the newest members, our name shall be Ma Masaru and the Critical Brothers. Oh, old. Okay, then. But how do I incorporate both of your names? Um. Why not call it Setsu Getsuka? No, because it's really long. <laughs> I so much trouble saying that. Setsu Getsuka, Setsu Getsuka, Setsu Getsuka. Okay. <laughs> Setsu san. Thank you. Cool, we got a D scale for front trigger. We got Monster's deck, which. I don't know if I can actually fix that. <laughs> let's, let's hold up, hold up, Monster. Is it here? It's not here. Alright. Gotcha. Um, I think I can, like. If I make a new deck, I can like use his recipe or something like that, is what, what they're trying to tell us. Uh, we got this other D skill for Lightning Spark. Guarantee a win for Rock, Paper, Scissors, and Go first. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of busted. <laughs> it's a little busted. Uh, it's only for story mode, obviously, but that's kind of busted. Uh, I'm guessing if I go to the shop, we might have some sort of story. Uh, which sucks, because I just wanted to buy cards. Okay, good. So we have ourselves a butt ton of VP, um, and I guess I can go over how some of these work. Um, so you can buy these packs, these are pretty cheap, uh, these have basically the same exact cards that they have in the actual TCG, uh, I think just about card for card. Um, so you can kind of just take a look at it and see what it is that you'd like. I would say that set 4 is a really good set, in general it's one of the best sets that came out. Whereas, like, sets 2 and 5 weren't the best, but there are some critical pieces in them. And if you, like, want to get some over-triggers, you gotta go to set 1 and some PGs. Um, so I would open definitely set 1 to try and get that stuff if you can. Um, if not, what you can do is you have these things here, which are pretty interesting. Because they actually only have cards for a specific nation, but they um, cost a lot extra. But... But, 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 they also only have triple R, double R, and R cards. Which might be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, you're not going to be able to get a lot of VP or CP, I should say, to craft cards. Because you're not going to get, like, the commons and get them duplicated. Um, which kind of sucks. But you do skip and get, like, all the triple rare cards that you need, possibly, right away, right? Uh, I've been having more luck with, like, just opening these packs because they're cheaper and I can get more of them. And I can get more crafting currency, but it's also because it's lyrical, it's a different, like, uh, set, like, well, I can use all of these cards in a lyrical deck, whereas, like, if you open one of these, you can only use the cards for your specific nation, um, and, uh, also pay attention to this promo pack, um, there's a lot of cards here that for certain decks you kind of need, like, if you're planning on playing, um, Overlord, you need this guy, he's really good for Overlord, um, if you want Eva, you need this thing uh, here. 
And if you want to play um, uh, Flagbird, you want to pull up one of these. If you want to play, I've never even seen this girl. Uh, this looks cute. And I always wanted to get this girl too. Um, but she can become like an 18k booster. Whoops. Um, let's go back in there. Whoops. <laughs> let's go back in there. And there's just one more card. Um, you can use this if you want to play like PBO or Thegria. Uh, and where is she? There she is. If you want to play Prison, you definitely want to pick up four copies of this. And if you want to play Magnolia, you want to pick up some copies of this. But all right. Um, I will open up some packs, some 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 packs, and we'll see what we get. Uh, I'm probably gonna focus on Kyrie for a bit, and then see if we can play something else. I definitely want to eventually build Barrel Magus. Um. And just try out things that I haven't been able to build myself in the TCG, which hasn't been too much because I built a lot of decks and tried them out. But if there's anything you guys want me to try out or build, let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, take care of yourself, play Vanguard, and have yourself a damn good one.